great day attractive thinkers dr tony hatton here your vision and mindset expert at www.theattractivethinker.guru this is where we support new and aspiring entrepreneurs in mental strength mental healing and mindset maintenance i'm so excited to be with you this morning this marvelous monday morning great day attractive thinkers you know I was reminded, you know, by a fellow attractive thinker this morning that she was inspired by my story. And I realized that I really haven't shared my story recently. And as you can see, it is extremely windy out here today. You know, one of the things, you know, when I when I re when I woke up this morning and realized how windy it was, you know, one of the thoughts that came to my mind was the winds of life. You know, when we think about the winds of life, you know, they keep blowing. You know, life is not going to stop happening just because you decided to get a life. You know, I'm here this morning to really, you know, inspire you and motivate you and strengthen that mental muscle and just give you the support that you need to continue to move towards and accomplish your visions, your dreams, and your goals despite distractions and frustrations in life. Because as you can see, life will not stop happening. The winds of life will continue to blow in our lives. And you know, as an attractive thinker, that's what an attractive thinker is, a person with vision who can see beyond that. You know, who can see beyond what they're looking at, beyond life and beyond the norm, you know, the routine, the chores and the things that are required of us, re the responsibilities, you know, an attractive thinker that can see beyond that, beyond what you're looking at and then develop the, the courage to focus on what it is that you see until it manifests. Focusing on what you see in your vision, your dreams, and your goals until it manifests. You know, the winds of life. When, when life knocks on your door, attractive thinker, who answers? Which one of you answers? The victim or the victor? I want you to think about that this morning. When life knocks on your door, which one of you answers the door? You know, and when you answer, what do you see? A challenge? or an opportunity think about that you know when when the attractive thinker reached out to me this morning and said you know how inspired she was with my story I thought I'd share it this morning because I'm always posting on social media just to inspire you and encourage you and keep your mental muscles strong you need a strong mind attractive thinker in order to accomplish anything other than the ordinary in your life right so you know my story you know one of the things that it was a defining moment in my life and one of the things that really launched me out you know into the world into the confidence and courage that I have into the positive mindset that I have into the determination and the vision that I have to see beyond my current circumstances is I had a defining moment my my firstborn son was uh, diagnosed with uh, retinoblastoma it's cancer of the retina in both of his eyes and as a result of that by the time he was five we had to have his eyes removed in order to save his life um, this past Thanksgiving you know he celebrated a 30th birthday and he's a certified massage therapist he's a music producer he's gone on with his life right it was it was quite an incredible journey did it affect me yes Yes. Did I want to throw in the towel? Yes. It shattered my, my dream, my vision. My, it, sh it shattered who I was, you know? And when we think about these things that, that, that happen in our lives, you know, when life knocks on our door, life only magnifies who we already are. So the question is, who are you, attractive thinker, when life knocks on your door? Who answers the door, the victim or the victor? Who shows up? Think about that. That is extremely important because, you know, life doesn't change, you know, who we are at the core. It magnifies us. It, it, it supports us and it triggers the greatness in us. It, it triggers and it helps us to discover what we're really made of. It helps us to discover a better relationship with ourselves, a better relationship with God. And it help, helps us to discover our true potential. I'm looking in the feed here. I definitely want to respond to all of the attractive thinkers. You know, when life knocks on your door, 
attractive thinker? How do you respond? What is your first response? That's important right there. What is your first response? You know, because on the other side of that door is an opportunity. And one of the things that I didn't realize was, I didn't realize this really until my son became a grown man. And, well, he was transitioning into a grown man at the time. And I realized that the same way that I showed him how to see without eyes, I was supposed to show people with eyes how to see. And that's why I do what I do as an attractive thinker. One of the reasons why we struggle to accomplish our visions, dreams, and goals is because we don't see them clearly. We're groping in the, in the dark. You know, they, they, they appear to be scary. They're foreign to us. And you're not going to move towards anything that scares you. You're not going to move towards anything that you don't recognize. Think about that. If, if you don't recognize your vision, if you don't have clarity on your vision, you're not going to move towards that. Your subconscious mind is not going to allow you to move towards that because it's foreign. It's unfamiliar. It's uncomfortable. It's scary. You can't figure it out. You know, it's like the dream in the fog. Think about that. So when we talk about life knocking on your door, you want to decide, you know, have that conversation with yourself prior to. Because it's not like if life knocks on your door, it's when, attractive thinker. Because we're always growing into awesome levels of greatness. And in order to grow, we have to be stretched and challenged. There are certain things that will not be triggered in us until we're challenged until we hit rock bottom or until we feel like we're empty. Think about that. Your greatness won't be triggered and your creativity won't be triggered and your awesomeness and the opportunity and the ideas, they're already inside of you. They won't be triggered until we're faced with a challenge or until we hit rock bottom or until we feel like we just don't have anything else to give. We're empty. We've hit rock bottom. Think about that. You also find you discover, you know, something gets triggered in you and you discover your treasure. You discover who you truly are. You give your higher power, whoever you might call your higher power, God, light, energy, source, whatever you reference as your higher power. Now your higher power can come forth because you're empty. See, when we feel like we're empty and we're frustrated and we can't figure things out, we think that's a bad thing. But when you shift your perception, you realize that there is some treasure in that trauma. Think about that. But it takes us a minute to discover that. As you can see, the winds of life are blowing. You know, it's very windy out here today. And I just wanted to stop by and encourage you, attractive thinker, that when life knocks on your door, you already know who you are. You're a victor. You're not a victim. And it's a challenge, yes, but it's also an opportunity for you to grow, mature, see that, yes, your dreams are possibilities. Discover the essence of who you truly are. How else will you know what you're made of, attractive thinker, if you're not stretched and challenged and pushed and backed up against a wall? How else will you know what you're made of? And what you're capable of and what you can accomplish and what you can do and how far you can go in life. Think about that. I'm hosting a live event this Thursday, the From Sight to Vision, Shifting from Sight to Vision, Master Your Mind Live Experience. And it's all about mastering your mind. You know, we can't accomplish anything new in our lives until we master our minds. Think about that. We have to deal with our minds every single day, right? So it, 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 it's definitely necessary. It's a priority. It's not an option that we master our thinking. Get in touch with our thinking. Figure out what we're thinking. Align our thinking. Tell our mind what to say. Remind our minds where we're going, what we're doing, why we're here, who we are. Think about that. That's especially important when we think about who we are, why we're here, and what we're doing. It gives us direction. 
Dr. Tony Hatton here, your vision and mindset expert at www.theattractivethinker.guru where we support you with mental healing, mental strength, and mindset maintenance for new and aspiring entrepreneurs, for dreamers, for trailblazers, for pathfinders, for people who know way deep down inside that there's more. There's more to life than the life you're living. There's more to accomplishing than what you've already accomplished. Think about that, attractive thinker. If you're local to the Baltimore, D.C. and surrounding areas, visit the website. There are more details there. And make sure you check your email after you register because I've placed a powerful mindset tool, the same mindset tool I use every single day. You'll receive that in your email to start using it today to prepare your mind for this Thursday at www.masteryourmindlive.com. Dot the attractive thinker dot guru. If you're not local, no worries. Visit www.mastermind dot the attractive thinker dot guru. We host a virtual master your mind experience and a live master your mind experience because attractive thinkers, you know, in our in our private Facebook group, they're they're not all local. And they need support. Everybody, every single day needs mental support to accomplish, to stay focused, to keep your vision ever before you so that you can accomplish that. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your vision and mindset expert at www.theattractivethinker.guru. My life's work, Attractive Thinker, is to make your life better. You hear me say it all of the time. It's not what you're going through. It's how you're viewing it. Think attractively. I'll see you soon.